Hello, Dr. Brandon Vaughn, that tie-dye guy, coming to you today with five more tips to how to self-love, to appreciate yourself, to be a better coach for yourself. We talked about the previous five steps. This week, we're going to start at number six, and that is to care about yourself. First of all, you should do everything you can to make yourself healthy. This is very important. It means you need to quit eating crap. <laughs> and I'm speaking to myself just as much. Man, I tell you, I can eat a tiramisu or have just the most amazing milkshake coffees or bag of Doritos. And I say, fine, do that every now and then to just reward yourself. But you need to be diligent in trying to eat healthy as much as you can. That means eating things like vegetables that instead of Doritos, you can do it. Quit making excuses. It makes you feel better. It makes your body work better. Just do it. Take care of yourself. And if it helps, have a cheat meal or a cheat day where you go out and just eat anything you want to. But this helps so much to treat yourself with respect by taking care of your nutrition first. But also, number seven, nutrition is more than just what you eat. It implies everything in your life. Junk food for your brain is just as bad, I think, as junk food for your body. Your mind and your body both need nutrition. That means you need to take care of yourself by stimulating it with more than just Facebook, more than just YouTube videos for that matter. You need to stimulate it with books and conversations and relationships and not just watch movies all the time. Now, I can tell you, I would love to watch movies all the time. Let me pull up the three extended versions of The Lord of the Rings and just watch them back to back. That would be a great day. But as good as this is, I need some other ways of doing this. I need my vegetables for my brain and my spirit and my soul. And that comes about usually from reading books or listening to some poetry or attending a concert or taking a walk and listening to a book, or having relationships and talking to people. Very important that you do this. Don't just get stuck in feeling like you're relating to people just because you're on Facebook. That doesn't work. It never worked. It doesn't work today. Number eight, you need to play more. We mentioned this in previous episodes. Life is more than just work. You need to have some outlets in your life, some hobbies. What is it that you love doing? Maybe it's gardening. Maybe it, you want to write a book. Maybe you like writing music, writing poetry, drawing. Find something that you enjoy doing. Maybe you like riding bikes and you can combine that with exercise and do both of them at the same time. You need to find something to do. Social clubs. There's so many ideas to do. You need to find something and put it into your schedule today. You need to play more. This is a crucial thing to taking care of yourself and to having more self-love. Don't always make it about exercise, but it can be combined with this. You need to have some playtime where you just turn off the world, play some music, watch a movie. Even though we said that feeding your brain is more than just movies, but hey, it can be that as well. Have some downtime where you just have fun. You're not being responsible. It's just fun. Put some fun into your life. That's very, very important. Number nine. You need to make promises to yourself and keep them. So, for instance, if you want to lose weight, then do it and keep that promise to yourself. If you want to be in a solid relationship, keep that promise to yourself. We make promises to other people. We should make promises to ourselves to give ourselves some time off, to cut ourselves some slack. Then own that and put it into practice and make it a habit and do this. Do this. Because you owe it to yourself to give yourself this type of respect and dignity. So make sure to keep promises to yourself. Number 10 is to become you because you are the only you. You matter. You are the only person on this planet. Even when we get into identical twins, there's always something different and unique about them. I once heard this, that if two of us are exactly alike, then one of us isn't necessary. Uniqueness is a great thing. So own your uniqueness. 
It doesn't matter that you're not like other people. Don't be the next of them. Be the first of you. Own who you are and become who you are and be comfortable with who you are. Be comfortable in your own skin. You can try to do cosmetic surgery and change how you look, but you're still going to be basically the same person. Own who you are, love who you are, accept who you are. You are the only you on this planet. Why want to be like other people when you're the only person like you on this planet? It's okay to be different. It's okay to not be like other people. And it's okay to be comfortable in your own skin. Five more things today for how you can love yourself and respect yourself. Hey, if you like videos like this, would love it if you would hit the subscribe button below and be informed of new videos as I post them. Hit the thumbs up button. That's always a great thing. Leave a comment for me. If you have questions, if you have thoughts, concerns, outrage at anything I'm talking about, it's a place down there that you can leave me comments. We'll love for you to do that. So go out today and embrace your life. Live your life with passion, intention, and purpose. Your life is an occasion. Rise to it.